Hey everyone, it's Chantal here, and in today's video, I'm playing Black Ops 4 for the first time. Technically, I guess. But, uh, well, you know, anyway, this is my first video, and I'm happy it's on Jungle because I miss this map so, so, so much. Uh, this is not a live com, though. This is something that I went to, I wanted to try theater mode and see how it works. I haven't quite figured it out yet. I'm not dumb. I just haven't quite figured it out yet. And um, I decided to, you know, just use this clip. Uh, this is the first video that I am playing with IR28 because as soon as we got this, he couldn't wait to come home from work so we can play this together. One thing is, I think this is more of a review video. As in what I'm using, what I'm doing, how I feel about it, is it worth it, was it worth the like 80 bucks, you know? So first let's start off with the specialist. Who am I using? I'm obviously, okay wait hold on, I don't know why I did this, but it happened. So I am obviously using Nomad, right? So Nomad's special abilities would be his uh, canine unit and his mesh mines. Now I really do enjoy the mesh mines when people don't see them because what I didn't know is that when you place down the mesh mines and you die, they don't just respawn, like, they don't just disappear. They end up staying there for the whole game if no one destroys them. So that's what's cool. By chance, you always have a way of getting that little extra kill if you need it or whatever, right? Because you never know. You could get 100 points and get your scorch streaks ready because of the mesh mines. I like to say in this game I did good. I don't remember how I did, but... I did pretty good. I think I got like, I think I went like a uh, 13 and zero or 20 and something. I can't remember. I cannot remember, but I know this was a game that Evil Love and I enjoyed together. Now, uh, when I look at the other specialists, you have some of the specialists from Black Ops 3, and uh, you also have different, I guess you can say powers. Like for example, the Prophet. The Prophet, I wish they would have brought back. I really, really wish they would have brought back uh, glitch. Glitch was a, it was a good thing to have. They shouldn't have taken it away. Um, I know you need like a defense, an offensive, uh, your two little like, how, how do you want to call it? Your two little special powers, a special, uh, moves, I guess. So for the prophet, he uses this little thing that looks like a hoverboard and it goes around. And it kind of shocks people, right? It shocks people, keeps them there until you can get damage on them or until you can kill them. Because you never know who's low on life or who's not. Um, I, I don't mind that too much. But what I do like is the fact that it became something in this game. I am not so much loving the uh, sniper aspect. That little special move he has that is better than Black Ops 3's I find. Because at least in this one it's easier to handle. It kind of feels more realistic, like a real gun. Like if I were to create this gun, it would look it would look like that and it would work like that. Uh the nomad, I wasn't done with him, I forgot about him. So I said his his mines are cool. His mesh mines are cool. Uh the dog is very helpful. But you know what would have been really cool? Is if you had like Three dogs run together. Can you imagine having like one little pit bull and like two puppies? You know what? One thing I haven't done is I haven't given this dog a name. I'm going to name him Brian. Yes, I'm going to name him Brian from Family Guy. So before you watch this video, I actually kind of have an idea of what kind of thumbnail I make. So make sure when you hear this and you look at the thumbnail, you kind of smile because you know where it's from and you know what it's about. And I've used the dog multiple times. Uh, Crash. Crash is pretty cool too. Usually when I play games like this, I'm always like, okay, I should use Crash. Or I should use people that help their teammates when it comes towards health, right? But I didn't find him completely useful, which kind of made me kind of sad because I feel like he has both defensive aspects to him and he doesn't have something to him that like gives him like an extra push can you imagine if anything right can you imagine if he took one of those powers he has like uh the one where he pulls out that little board and and counts people and gives people like extra health what if he had a gun where he could shoot his teammates and give them extra health that's just the thing you know what 
since I'm talking about specialists, I should at least go through some of the ones that I actually know. So there's Ajax, right? Ajax has a nine bang grenade, which uh, flashes and stuns people, and it it can be it can be cooked about like three times because you have a little bar there. It can be cooked three times, and it goes boom, 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 boom. Anyway, so it's really cool because it actually it actually affects people a ton and it's crazy because I've never the first time I was actually flashed by that I actually kind of screamed and started freaking out because I didn't know what the heck was going on and why like I couldn't see and it kind of delays you that's the thing it delays you you have your hand even when you can see you have your hand in front of your face and you can't do anything I don't know if you can shoot you probably can but I don't know and the other one he has is the ballistic shield which is really cool because First, you can use it like a normal shield, like you're playing zombies or whatever. And then, you kind of like stick your gun in the shield and just hold it and shoot. So it becomes like this big, huge armored um, shield and you can just shoot like crazy. I think that's, that's, that's cool, but I wouldn't say he's one of the best. I don't know, it's just in my opinion. Uh, then there's the battery. Okay, so the battery, I forgot... Well, her other pep. Oh, her other thing in her one and one of her abilities. There you go. The words abilities, and one of the abilities in Black Ops Three, she had kinetic armor, and she had that uh, launcher, right? But now she has a launcher, and she has cluster grenades. I I love the cluster grenades. I think they're really cool, and the fact that it goes boom and then it goes off six times after that is extremely cool and the grenade launcher is the same uh we talked i talked about crash fire break fire break is definitely a big one now you have your purifier which is obviously normal because we've had that before uh the ability is the purifier obviously which is a flamethrower and then you have the equipment equipment which is the reactor core i think that's what it's called i think that's what it's called I think that is so intense that is absolutely crazy you technically just like stick it in the ground make sure you're healed that's where crash comes in to heal you you stick it in the ground make sure you're healed or you hold it and you kind of just let it damage radiation all over the place and you got to be careful because you have one meter that's yellow and then one meter that's red and you can shave off some of your life because you can always heal yourself after but it's important to watch the uh, meter but in you know I couldn't tell you how I really feel about it one thing is it is it definitely became more intense than it was in black ops 3 which I'm kind of happy about so it's a big big upgrade it's definitely a big upgrade and then you have the recon or I think his name is just recon right recon's kind of cool I think he replaced that girl with the hood who she has an arrow and she has vision pulse. Now he has sensor dart. I'm pretty able, I'm pretty sure sensor dart is when you just throw it on the wall and you can kind of sense quotation marks between sense who's around you, any enemies. And then you have vision pulse, which is normal. You can reveal people's surroundings, and that's just a normal thing. Um, then who else did I forget? You have uh, ruin. Ruin's kind of different this time. Instead of those two. Uh, gravity slam things he only has one which is kind of annoying because for some reason if you well hey if you watch my other videos you can see that I really really love taking those gravity spikes and just slamming them in the floor now he only has one but I, I guess that's okay you know it's, it could be an upgrade might have been too heavy for him to carry um, then you have his grapple gun oh boy his grapple gun to be honest with you I find it completely useless I don't like it. I never did. And I never really use grapple guns when I play games like that anyway. So I'm not even sure what to even tell you about it. It's just a normal grapple gun. Just kind of... Oh, one thing though is when I was playing today, I saw someone go flying. And they looked like they were Superman flying in the air when they were using the grapple gun. The Seraph, I can't really cover to be honest with you. Because I know they have... The ability is the Annihilator. I haven't really seen the uh, Seraph. I know that she has the Annihilator like she has in Black Ops 3, but I was never really into that. Uh, mom, 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 mom. What else is there? Oh, you have Torque. I think that's what his name is. 
Uh, he basically uses the razor wire, which is that big, huge wire you see a lot of cheaters use. So when you run through it, you kind of get stuck, and then you can't really do anything. It, it basically slows enemies down. Then you have the barricade. Okay, so this barricade is actually amazing. I find it really cool. Look, there's Brian. He can get it. Anyway, so I find the barricade really cool because it sends off this kind of, like, wave. And it slows and damages the enemies, which is kind of cool because you can just leave it there. And then you're done. So I went 20 and 3 on here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give a like button some love, and I will see you guys in some other video. It'll definitely be a Black Ops 4 one, though. Bye!